What's up with it? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. Uh, coming out here, man, to vlog this black sheep joint. Got me a pair, we in line line. Trying to get them Hornets SBs today. Out here chilling, man. Just left the uh, House of Hoops event, man, and uh, left empty handed, unfortunately. All the big sizes in the heat was gone, so. Now we creeping back over here to Black Sheep, bro, to try to get it done, you know what I'm saying? Walking and all that. Straight up, I, uh, I applaud anybody that get out here and hold these cameras <laughs> and try to keep them steady. You know what I'm saying? This thing ain't no joke. But uh, it's actually my second time out here. The first time around, they had just started. And so now we probably at about 300. I give y'all some footage of what the line looking like and whatnot. Yeah. Where he with the social? I know y'all thinking like, yeah, that's light, right? That ain't <laughs> that ain't no big deal. But then you come over here to this motherfucking shit. Hold on, hold on. Hey. Uh, pick, pick. Yeah, this count, though. Yeah, yeah. So, maybe it's a situation like that when they really want to be like, they were trying to make me cry. Hey man, be careful while you walking in that grass. It's some big ass shit turns over there. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I Still going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to be like you, dog. I'm trying to get some. I'm trying to get these ducks right now. Yeah, yeah. You can holler at my man, too, man. Sneak ahead there, bro. On your customizations, you know what I'm saying? All your restorations, all that, baby. You know, I know, like, definitely. Working, working. And it's lying, baby. This right here, like. For real. Well, we on hour number five right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit crazy. My man said they heavy 13. Got the man in the yo, building yo, yo. over there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who that is. ZC on him. All day. And yeah. yeah. But it still go. Y'all see that shit? Crazy. But yeah, it's where we at, y'all. Hit you with the red later. All right, man, we walking down the way. Hopped out of line since they placeholder. Talking about they got a food truck down here that's uh, giving out food or whatever. So, we're about to see what that's about on the food truck, man. Get y'all some food truck footage. So I know about that. Been out here in these streets since 6.30 this morning, bruh. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, right? Shout out to Jive Turkey Legs and all that. All right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action on these bad boys. As you can see, man, that event was crazy. But out of all the events at All-Star, it was probably the most organized, man. They had food out there, they had a food truck, they got a little place across the way that does cupcakes and desserts and stuff. Like, they treated you really well even though you were out there all day. Only 500 pairs of this particular shoe were given out and you um, had the premium package and all of them came with premium packaging. So, you know, I guess we'll start off with the actual packaging of the shoe. You have a Hornet's Nest branded box with your, uh, it's a see-through check there. You'll see it when I pull it out. The shoes aren't actually in this box though. The accessories are in this box. So I wanted to start off and show the accessories. But the uh, event was cool, man. As you can see, um, ZC23 was in the video. Um, I had an opportunity to meet um, Feats and Treats as well as Flight Academy Kicks, man. It's always good when you can get out in these events and actually, you know, see people that, that you see on the tube all the time and you can finally, like, you know what I'm saying, see them in person. So, shout out to Feasts and Treats, man. Shout out to uh, Flight Academy Kicks and ZC23, man. Shout out to them. Gotta respect the YouTubers on their grind. And, uh, yeah, 
So as you can see the box, the honeycomb pattern and the nice shoes on the bottom. You go from that into this bag. And there's a lot of contents in the bag. But what gets me is, man, like these, uh, like Nike SB, they do this collab with Black Sheep and they're giving you all these items, man. They're giving you a bag, all this fancy stuff for 140 bucks. Jordan brand is giving us poor quality and standard boxes for 200 plus dollars, man. Black Hornet on that bad boy stinger out. They also had a guy in there selling paintings and artwork and whatnot. And I wanted to look at it and see what he had, but I was trying to hurry up and get out the street before they put a damn boot on my car. So, sorry to buddy with the artwork. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We missed you. That was the bag. It also came with these Black Hornet Hive lace dubrays on there. Gotta put them in. You see that? Woo! Lace dubrays. And from there, <laughs> you got three pair of laces. The yellow honeycomb, the blue honeycomb, and then you have the multicolor hornet joints. Show that so you guys can see that. 140 bucks, man. 140 bucks. Chrome tips on the laces or whatnot. You're getting all this for 140 bucks, man. I ain't done. I ain't done at all. Come over here. It's got a card with it. The Black Hornet card. Black Sheep, man. Packaging on this joint is incredible. And you got a bunch of uh, Nike SB stickers. The pack is sealed, but you know, this is size 14 PP, so it ain't going nowhere. On foot coming afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Wait for it. Stick it. Stick it. Stick it. Stick it. Gave you the stickers, man. All that. And just when you thought it was done, still ain't done. They gave you a basketball, bro. A straight up squishy, kind of like a stress ball deal. Basketball, printed with the black hornet. So all that came. Now on top of that, now we finally get into the shoe. Finally. Here's your tag on that thing. For all my real verse fakers, or you people out there thinking about grabbing resale, numbers is up on these things, man, but only 500. The numbers got to be up. <clears throat> they also releasing on, um, <clears throat> they're releasing on sneakers, I think next week. So you, you guys will be able to get a pair, but um, they won't have the special packaging or whatever. So from the lace tag, I mean, you've got your regular Nike SB Tiffany colored box. It has paper, like Hornet wing print on that deal all the way through. You've got your, you got your red quality control, and then you've got your green joint on the inside. So we was out there literally for like six hours on Friday, man. It was crazy. But uh, for now, bam, there they go. The Black Hornet Nike SBs, man. And um, I love these things, man. Charlotte finally has a shoe. And you know, for years, man, we get shoes, Charlotte shoes, this, that, and the other, and they all garbage. And we finally, it took Nike SB to get us one that was a hit, you know what I'm saying? The last Hornets steam shoe that I actually bought was the uh, Bobcat 10s. I haven't bought one since. The uh, Hornets 10s, the mids that they put out that was the one mids that was Hornets, nah, only all that. I've been waiting on the hit and we finally got the hit. So, this shoe is comprised basically of an all elephant print upper with your uh, iridescent hits on your toe cap, on your lateral side panel. This little silver portion here is snitched on to the actual swoosh. It's supposed to represent the stinger. 
of the Hornet. You've also got your Nike, I mean not Nike, NBA tag here. Nike, it's got Nike on it. Nike NBA tag, all that good stuff. And it's still iridescent up here around the top. Got that back shot here, that joint. Looking good, man. This shoe is super sweet. And I love Jordan 1, so, uh, you know, SB, to me, is the next best thing. You got that, uh, got that translucent outsole as well. This has zoom air in it, so the comfort on it is pretty cool. And I love the thick, the thickness around the ankle collar. Like, it's really thick up here, and I love that. Um, also, let me unlace this thing. Oh, here's something I was mad about, man. Because as you can see, it wasn't in a box or nothing. So y'all know I looked at this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Usually I don't look at them. But they gave, they give you another uh, spare pair of laces. These are gray. Now, all the other laces come wrapped up and nice. They just threw these joints in the shoe, bro. They just put them in there like this. I literally pulled them out of the shoe like this. I didn't unravel them or nothing. So everything's great, but you just threw my damn laces in there. I'm complaining, not really. But uh, yeah, I wanted to unlace this joint so uh, I could show y'all some of the other details of this shoe, man. And a lot of people sleep on SBs, bro. I mean, they used to have a ton of hype back in the day. And also, you've got a mesh tongue here, and it has honeycomb print on the actual tongue coming in up top to your tongue tab. See that there? Um, on your actual... Get that out of there. Flaps there. You've got the wings of the actual Hornet on those. Take it out so you can see the other one. Y'all know the own foot is coming! And I'm super excited about it. So overall, man, the quality that they put on this shoe is insane. No shoe trees. You got the little paper balls up in there. And your actual insole, I'm not going to take it out, but... It's Hornet printed. It's like a whole honeycomb print on the inside with a Hornet up there. Super dope shoe, man. Um, I also backtracked and got a personal pair of those uh, black camo joints, man. If you haven't seen my review on the Jay-Z black camos, we'll put a link in here for you guys to go check that out. Another solid, solid SB. We'll show you this other shoe, the right shoe here. It's no different than the other one. Same elephant print all the way around. Stinger on the swoosh. Iridescent uh, paneling or whatnot. Toe cap, fresh, fresh. I think these are gonna. Uh, I think these are gonna crease horribly, though. I hate to admit that, but I really think they are. And I'm also now that I'm looking at this, I'm gonna do my next video. will probably be a comparison video with this actual pair and the All-Star ones from last year. I got these and those, so I'll probably do a comparison video on them. That'll be like my first comparison video since the Zebra Yeezys. It's been a minute since I did a comparison. And that's the other shoe, man. And that's pretty much it. Short, sweet, to the point. All the accessories, $140 for everything under the sun and Jordan brand struggling to give us a shoe without glue stains. <coughs> You know what I'm saying? It's a shame, man. But um, yeah, you've seen the quality, you've seen the construction on the shoe. There's no errors, there's nothing out of sorts or none of that. Get this shoe, especially being a Charlotte native. I had to have it. This represents us extremely well. Thank you, Black Sheep. I greatly appreciate it. You guys made my All-Star Weekend. But we got plenty more reviews coming. I just wanted to get this one out first because this shoe meant the most to me. But there's nothing left to do but to get into this on foot action, dog. All right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this on foot action. I went on ahead and took them black laces out there, out of here. And uh, we went and put in the Hornet laces and the Hornet's Nest laces, as you guys can see. You with that tiptoe action. Like I said, this shoe is probably gonna crease like crazy in this toe box. Just wanted to make sure I gave you guys some on foot looks, man. The numbers on these sort of special packaging, boy. They looking good, man. They looking real good. But had to keep one, you know, the PP, one to rock. 
was thinking about picking up that other one that Flight got, but I'm sure he's gonna let that go now. <laughs> That's probably already sold. But uh, yeah, man. Let me know how you guys feel about these in the comments. Did you like them? Did you not like them? You rock with SBs? You don't rock with SBs? You know? You know? I'd say I'd probably. Probably give this shoe. Uh, I'll probably give it a B minus on comfort. Yeah, probably a B minus. It's not an uncomfortable shoe by any means. I do feel a little bit of pressure on my pinky toe, on my right foot. Left foot's perfect. Right foot's a little snug in the pinky toe region. But um, yeah, I wouldn't suggest going like a half size up though or none of that. Just, uh, just a little pressure right there, but nothing major. I don't feel like it'll kill me. But keep that in mind when buying, if you're buying. Like I said, they drop on the sneakers app next week, so if you're interested in a pair, you should be able to grab. I don't know if they're limited or not, but if you want them, I suggest you be on them. But they're not gonna come with the special packaging that I showed you today. That's the only difference in those pairs. But at any rate, it's your boy McFly with his regular laces and the Lace Queen with her outrageously crazy laces. And until next time, man, we'll holler at you.